Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. I come alive in the dark. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Takes it at the seven. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. here up the middle and not a whole lot there maybe a yard to the 27. oh there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle but give him credit he tried barreling through anyway they're fortunate to get a yard out of that one the run only got a yard here's second and nine They'll get this one to Cup complete. They're just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and run through this with Akers. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. I didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. 23 yards on the play. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. We expected 
expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. To throw is Rodgers. He'll dump this off to Akers. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Well, they've gotten it to the four on this opening drive, but now they face a third and goal. On play action, Rodgers. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. From four yards out. And the Rams are on the board here first in the season opener. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Shotgun handoff to Pollard. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yeah, yards on the play. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Pollard again. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Third down, it's Pollard. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's going to air one out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
throwing is Rodgers. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Okay. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Operating from the gun, McCain. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On second down, Cook. And some room to run now. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant... That thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing on second and three. Rodgers. This one taken in by the former Baylor Bear, Jalen Hurd. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. This offense in mid-season form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Here's Rodgers. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Slot man moves right. They'll run on first down with Akers. 
The corner, Ronald Darby comes up to get it. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Rodgers. Being chased out left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Rodgers to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 24-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. and 10. Here's Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. They run it again with Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 102 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Left side, Cook. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Cook up the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. 
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. Second and six, just inside the 30. They give up the middle to Akers. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? A loss of a yard. Brings up third and seven. Rodgers now to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. Rodgers going to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. Looking to throw, Rodgers. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. They haven't been able to stop them so far in this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll send the tight end in motion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you in the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10. That's their own 30-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A 
Final shot before break. McCain is going to let this one go deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Pollard to return from the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there. Call it a gain of three, second down. Looking to throw on second down. McCain. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun. McCain flushed out right to the sideline. He's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Throwing on first down. McCain. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tony Pollard, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Play action. It's Rodgers. Going up top for Cup. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. Rodgers now on first down. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. 
So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Rodgers. Caught on the slant. Touchdown. Michael Gallup from 10 yards out. And the Rams have retaken a third quarter lead. Zerline now for the PAT. And that one gives him a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago with a touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. To throw on second down, McCain. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown, Falcons! Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing they just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. In motion goes the tight end. On first down, Rodgers. And incomplete on the deep ball. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. To throw once more on second and ten. Rodgers. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. A seven-yard loss brings up third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Ebikati. Here comes the Rams punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Hey, what? 
Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Now he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. Let's see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. They'll run left with Pollard. And they do get this across midfield to the 49. The small consolation prize is he's well short of the first. They'll send a receiver in motion left. He's going to look deep down the field. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. Rodgers again here on second and ten. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Going up top for Cup. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. To throw on second and ten. Rodgers. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 25-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Tell you what, he's been able to put them all in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. That's a 12-yard game now on back-to-back plays. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you've got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. Have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. Here's Cook again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. 
And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll try and wind out some clock with Cook. And a short pickup to about the 25. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. In the tight end across the formation. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. <laughs> Throwing is Rodgers. Throw to the right, taken in by Hurd. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And he'll send the tight end in motion here. Now Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Partner, you get about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. To throw is Rodgers. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away. Live to fight another down. 
12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A give running right is Akers. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Rodgers to throw. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marco Wilson. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his loss here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress. You got to choose. You like the top of you, just like the lose. Before I could beat them again, they thought I was done. I went on a run and beat all the odds and got even again. Watch what you say, I'm not one of them. When I jump in my bag, I could jump out the gym. Take a look at my legacy, I gotta let them see. I'm out here winning, cause I'm on a mission. Put me in the game, cause the way I'm feeling, I honestly do not see no competition. I gotta get it, so it ain't no quitting. We jumped off the benches and jumped in the trenches. No one is better than all of us, and that's why all of us been winning from the beginning. It's more than a Q, 
Okay, no play with my name. You come with your goals, I'm bringing my game. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going insane. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. You started, I finished, put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. 